Hi, welcome to Glow's Kinder Kitchen and I'm Glow. Well, tonight for dinner, I thought we would make some uh, catfish nuggets together and I'm gonna bake these in the oven and I just thought I'd show you how I do it. Uh, I had bought these back in February and I kept them in the package and then I um, vacuum sealed it. But I wanted to show you this is only a half a pound, but it'll be plenty for the two of us, Richard and I. And I bought these for $4.99 a pound. So it only caught, this only ran as $2.79 for this meal, for this. And then I'm making some potatoes that I got marked down for a dollar. And we're only using part of that. And also carrot salad for dinner. But there are many ways that you guys can reduce your food bills by simply just shopping the specials. This was on special when I bought it. So what I did is when I decided what to make for dinner, this was frozen. So I took myself a bowl of cool water, cold water, and I. this is the um, bag that they put this uh, the catfish nuggets in. And so I just set that right down in here in the bag they gave me, and now it's totally defrosted. So the next step I need to do is to wash these catfish nuggets and then I'll be, be right back and I'll show you the next thing I do. Hi, well I got my catfish, catfish nuggets all washed and here they are. I already got one of them breaded here. And um, what I did is I had made some cornbread the other night and I had some left. So I made my own breadcrumbs out of my cornbread. And then I added a little bit of self-rising flour that I had made the other day. And I just keep it in a container like this because I make my own self-rising uh, flour as I need it. So I put a little of that in here, about two tablespoons. And there was probably about three quarters of a cup of the um, breadcrumbs from the cornbread. So what I did is I have my, um, you know, the, the, the catfish nuggets here. And I'm going to lightly salt and pepper those first. Oh, and the other ingredient I have in here with the, um, the cornbread crumbs is I put Creole seasoning in it. And it has a couple of different chili powders in it, sugar, um, other spices. It's very good with catfish. So anyway, I'm show you here the first one. And see how nicely breaded that is? So I'm going to continue to do that, and actually tonight I am using a pan that I had roasted my potatoes in, it was foil line, and I decided just to use this for an easy cleanup dinner. So anyway, I'll be back before we put it in the oven. Hi, well I've got the um, catfish nuggets almost completely done here, and I'm just going to, I have just a little bit of this cornbread and crumbs left, so I'm going to just add that on top here a little. And... Um, I did drizzle a little bit of the olive oil, you know, the sauteing type, on to my uh, foil here. It already had a little bit from the roasted potatoes. And this is only going to take eight, I don't know, probably seven to ten minutes max. And after about three to four minutes, I'm going to be turning these and if they're brown enough, and then um, we'll cook again for a little bit longer. Anyway, we'll be back when they're ready. Hi, well I just took our catfish nuggets out of the um, the oven and they smell so good. They do. I think I'm going to use the spatula because some of the breading's coming off there and we don't want that to happen. So I got my spatula here. Yeah, look at that. I'm glad I decided to use this foil that I used for the roasted potatoes. So it worked out real good. Easy cleanup. Yep. So let me take a small one here. I'm going to sample it for you guys. It's really hot. So I'm going to be back in a few minutes. I'm going to let that cool a little. And um, anyway, we'll be back. Well, our fish is all done here. And I went ahead and did up a plate for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of the fish. Oh, you can smell the seasonings in it. It's 
Gonna be good. Mmm. That is delicious. You can taste the cornbread in, in it. And it just is perfect. Good seasoning. Not overly salty or spicy. Just right. Mmm. And it pairs so well with the potatoes. Mmm. Those cranberries and the raisins in this with the um, dressing and the carrots just really set it off. It makes a great meal. So, I'm take one more bite of the fish. It's so good. Look at that, you guys. See how flaky that is? It's a wonderful way to use stuff you have on hand. I had the leftover cornbread, made my, you know, the, the breadcrumbs. And I just want to thank you guys for watching this. And if you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to our channel. We would really appreciate it. And give me a comment or a thumbs up. Talk to you later. Bye.